Hello everyone, BigDosses here and welcome to this Let's Play series of Baldur's Gate 3. So I've been waiting for this for a long, long time. I've played the uh, Alpha and I also played Divinity Original Sin from uh, Larian Studios and I really love this game. Besides that, I really like playing D&D. So I'm very curious on how this game is and how it's going to be. So we are gonna play as Lord Ganar, our uh, half-orc paladin with uh, the devotion, I think. Let's see the, let's see which oath. Yeah, the oath of devotion. So we are gonna protect the poor and we're gonna be righteous as hell. So that is what we're gonna do. The goal is to have a alignment-like good playthrough. So that's what we're gonna aim for. And let's start this off. There we have it, Lord Ganar. stamps down below so if you have already played this game and you watch the cinematic then you can easily skip this part uh, I'm gonna just re-watch it again because I'm very curious Just amazing. Welcome to Avernus, the first layer of hell. Mm. 
my players I play as a DM in D&D &D, and my players currently are in Avernus which is um, good to say I'm sad for them but it's still pretty cool So I have played this before a little bit, I'm not gonna try, or I Where actually am gonna try going? not to spoil too much. Um, so for the players that, or the people that are watching this, uh, without ever actually having seen the game or played them it's oh, themselves, it's, it's still nice. Center camera, Very well. All right. well, double click on Looking ahead. Yeah, cool, cool. So what I'm doing is I'm holding down the alt key the entire time. Thank you for the gold. And that is because the alt key... Ooh. The alt key will show you uh, what is in your near vicinity. So let's just stand here and let's just jump down and we see we lose one hp and we are not prone okay let's just see what happens we actually did not fall prone we did get one damage though this is the pool that thing came from the parasite now writhing behind your eye all right let's investigate this investigate the pool a skill check. I'm not so smart, so let's see how it goes. One could say that's a bloody good start of the game. Wonderful, wonderful. The casing is fragile. The slightest touch could cause it to crumble. I do not want any more of those creatures to come out, so I'm just gonna destroy the pool, I think, by touching it. And so I did. And so I did. Thank you. Dead. Good. Someone else got out. Someone else got out, and they didn't even free me. Oh, God. I feel better. So, in this playthrough, I'm planning on exploring a lot, so I might stop with some recordings or Images just get of goblins, their habits bits and, and pieces of it. Flash into your mind. Yeah. Uh, but that's not the case right now, so let's read this. It flashes into your mind. Nerves, sinews, as much living being as shit. Yeah, we are on a nautiloid. Let's see, that's all the same text, I guess. Yeah, can't read anything else. Eldritch tablets. Let's read that. A thousand years of humanoid history. Elves, dwarves, humans, and more flash behind your eyes. Let's go up here. Release us. Poor chap. Poor chap. He's ripped as fuck though. brain quivers in expectation please before they return they return hmm. you sound afraid why the enemy so many enemies who am i talking to 
A man or a brain? A newborn. Born new from this husk. You know no creature like this. One that is more brain than person. Well, I know not such a creature. So... I have to save everyone. As a paladin. Uh, well, I don't know the creature, so... I'll, I think you're past the point of saving. Tell me what to do. Remove us from this body. From this case. Free us. Please. Alright. So... I'm gonna break his skull to free him. Okay. Hopefully I do not get demonetized because of how this is going to look. Good starting rolls, good starting rolls. Sorry, Jeff. Do you notice an opportunity? You could cripple the strange creature, making it more subservient, should it prove a threat. If it is a trap, then we would handle it ourselves. Spare the creature. Any injurious injuries might weaken it. Pauses, listening. Something behind your eyes seizes in recognition. We must go to the helm. But the helm, we are needed. What should I call you? Us. We are us. Well, hi, us. I'm Lord Ganar. What's at the helm? Dances, as though querying an unseen advisor. Do you not hear it? We will not survive here. We are needed to navigate. We are needed to leave this realm. All right, let's go. We are going to the helm. Some allies may temporarily join you. You can directly control their movement and actions. Click a follower's portrait to take control of them. Okay. A newborn has a slash attack. Or a claws attack, I mean. I've got a long road ahead. Alright. Do you have some? These boots like have seen well, everything. I guess not. Yep, follow me. No more newborn. Wait, it actually became like stronger. Now it's us with 21 HP. Oh, just look at that. Like what is shooting those fiery beam things? I can't see. Together, we might survive. 
I'm not gonna make any jokes about the Thrall thing being an orc and all. We're not talking about World of Warcraft again, so... Just not gonna do it. And Vlaket blesses me this day. I think Vlaket was a god of the Genasi. Genasi? No, not Genasi. I don't know what they're called. I think it's their god. Uh, let's see. What made you think I was a thrall? We carry mind flayer parasites. Unless we escape, unless we are cleansed, our bodies and minds will be tainted and twisted. Within days, we will be gay. Mind flayers. She's a good Yankee, by the way. I knew I would come on it. We are turning into mind flayers. There must be something we can do. We can do nothing until we escape. That must be our priority. First, Not gonna lie, sounds reasonable. The then we find the helm and take control of the ship. As for that thing, it will remain tame as long as it believes we are thralls. It may be of use in the fight to come. They made them look so much cooler, those imps. Alright, combat. Get ready to fight. Yes, it happens in turns, of course. So, let's just run up here with us and just do a quick, quick, quick claw attack. We gain 10 H XP, which is nice. And that's the end of us. I will move closer with Lysel. Uh, let's see, what do we have? Well, we have a bow, not for close range, of course. We can do a rush attack, main attack, lacerate. We're just, we're just gonna do a main attack. Sixteen damage. Okay, wait. I did one. How many damage? Was hit for 16 slashing damage. Oh, it was a critical hit. Well, that makes sense. I was like, how did it do so much damage? Is okay. never easy. Don't waste a step. Let's get closer. And now I'm gonna use Divine Sense because I gain advantage on attack rolls against Celestials, Fiends, and Undead. And I'm pretty sure you are a fiend. There we have it. Or there we have it. So I'm gonna use my bonus action to divine sense. And now I have advantage, which means I roll two dice and the highest one counts. And so you can also gain disadvantage, of course. Uh, some allies can join you on your adventure. You can control them the same way as your own character. Click on the companion's portrait to control of them. Okay. So, thank you for the scimitar. I'm gonna add it to wares right away. Same with the crossbow. Uh, I'm gonna equip this crossbow. So, I have a range option if I wanted to. I'm just quickly gonna be a loot goblin. Because, you know what? We need all the money we can get. Because I don't think we're gonna be stealing a lot. Famous last words before he starts stealing all the stuff there is. I'm not sure. Add that to wares. So I'm gonna just use this machine because now I get my divine sense back. Because be well, I can. We need to get out before it's too late. Thank you for the healing potion. Just slowly climbing up this piece of uh, goo. Quick auto save. Istic, back. Touch nothing without knowing its purpose. All right. Do I know what it is? Nope. 
Do I know what did this? Do I know what did this? Another mystery. Nope. Do you know what this is? Nope. 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 Right, us. Can you do this? You cannot use that right now. Oh. Let's move. What part us before can me? do it. Uh, let's see what's in the backpack. Thank you. Thank you. You! Get me out of this, Captain! We have no time for stragglers. I'm definitely gonna help her. I should. Look for a latch. Is too alien. Nothing looks familiar. This ship is crashing. Do you intend to die for a stranger? Boy, well, yes. I can't just leave the woman there. Hopelessly, I will save her, Liza. I'll go look around. There must be some way to get this thing open. Try that contraption next to the pod. They did something to it when they sealed me in. Hurry, please. Oh. All right, journal. We encounter a survivor trapped inside one of the pods aboard the Nautiloid. Perhaps we can find a way to free her. And we have met met one of the Mind Flayer's minions, an intellect devourer. It wants us to go to the helm of the ship. Yeah. Okay. So those are the objectives. There's another. The thingy. console appears dormant. The mechanisms are completely unrecognizable at first. Then you spy an empty socket. Hmm. How about I hit Nothing. this? Nothing. The console remains dormant. What? It does not work if you Whatever hit it. Whatever fits in that socket must power this thing. I'm just gonna take this. Read this. Faint images appear in your mind. A brain, a Git Yankee warrior. And centuries of darkness. A brain in a jar. Hmm. I got a brain in a jar. Needs a key. Well, that one needed a key, and this one got a key. I'm just certain How items, keys, ingredients, and can supplies are sorted in handy containers in your inventory. Nice supply. Ah, oh, this this sorts things out so much easier. Just gonna add these things to where it's right off the bat. Dazed woman is trapped inside the pod. She doesn't notice you. I will save you as well. Let's see. Two more healing potions. And another slave mine. Another brain. Eldritch Rune. A strange energy buzzes through this alien object. You're sure you've never seen any of that like. Yet part of you recognize it as the component of some bigger machine. Well. This might unlock those controls next to the pod. Yeah. I think it will. What does it do? Could mean anything. Like it's will be done. Perfect. Ooh, what does it do? Oh, it does. It says perfect. To do. Well, it's perfect if it releases her right now. So, let's just do that. I'm not that smart, you know. As you place your hand on the pod, you hear something. A presence connected to the pod, commanding the person inside to change. One could say that is not perfection. Change. Of a lever. How? If we are not purified, this may be our fate. We need to get out of here. Yes. Before it's our turn. 
so can I free you? So I can break your skull, you know? No. Okay. I don't want to jump. Right, so I found this rune, which was for this pod. So I'm just the gonna do that. Appears dormant. The console hums to life. But what is its purpose? Will it free the captain or transform her like that other unfortunate? Let's let's take a better look, don't we? Our rolls are on fire right now. We haven't hit under 15, I think, for like these rolls. The pulsing glow Pretty cool. and organic lines of the device make it seem more like a beating heart than a machine. This device is different from the one that caused the other captive to transform. Perhaps it will open the nearby pod. Well, that's good to know. That's good to know. I will place my hand Suddenly, on it you feel a hideous squirming in your head the parasite then discomfort fades and another sensation washes over you connection authority this this uh, all right i want this part to open i already made the connection so will the part to open I have a DC2, alright, let's not roll a 1, another 19, I'm on fire. You feel the biomechanical brain of the console process your command and yield to it. A shiver runs across your mind, you feel sated. Talk to the half elf. All right. I thought that damn thing was going to be my coffin. Thank you. Your mind lurches into her thoughts. Her gratitude is mixed with wariness because you have a gith with you. You keep dangerous company. What's what's up with the instant attitude? All right, I know she didn't want to save you, but still. I'm not gonna talk about that. Did you feel that just now we were in each other's I heads? I did. It must be because of those parasites they put in us. They'll have to wait. We need to get off this ship alive first. Let me come with you. We can get off this ship and watch each other's backs along the way. Let's do that. All right then, let's get going. I'm Lord Ganar. Shadowheart. One moment. Nice to meet you, Shadowheart. What's that? It's nothing. Trust me. Enough of this chatter. We need to get to the helm now. She's right. Lead on. All right, some more XP. Good, good. Uh, okay, now let's just, you know, press the middle button. Power. Made them hostile. Hmm. Okay, so that happened. Sacrificed cultists. You know what? You just attack this guy. And miss. Hmm. Death. Lysel, would you be so kind as to attack this guy? There you go. Thank you, Lysel. Can I move closer and then do a pommel strike as well? Bonk. Now he is dazed. What does that mean? Has disadvantage on wisdom saving throws, can't take reactions and loses the dexterity bonus to their armor class. 
So their dex was zero, so that didn't do anything for their armor class, but still, that's pretty cool. Uh, let's her turn. Shadow Heart, can you? You can chug a firebolt at him. Or we just can move closer because we can get all our spells back and just do a nasty necrotic wounds. For 23 necrotic damage. At least Daniel. things have stayed interesting. Damn. Thank you for that. One day I'll catch a break. Ooh, I need to still open that thing because I have the key. So what does that button do? Already dead. Okay, so that doesn't do shit. Let's fix this to get Shadow Heart your spell back. And let's open this elaborate thing. And take that to sell. Now I'm curious. So the key is still in here though. But we used it. So throwing away keys doesn't really matter. Just leave it be, I think. Okay. We are nearing the helm. Once inside, do as I say. Who put you in charge? I'll trust my own judgment. Kenyank. I do not know what that means, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't mean I love you. In get the Yankee. His flaming sword, if I'm gonna be honest. I do kind of want that. But we only have 15 turns, so I don't know how it's gonna go. Let's jump so we can get closer. And now we just do an attack. Cleave that boy. And we just start looting this up right away. Can I get to that one as well? Oh, nice. All right, so that went pretty... All right, I got all of that looted. That's pretty nice. Uh, that's the end of Lysel's turn. Now, us. Us will just run here. And just attack this Hellborn. Go us. Just move up. Yeah, okay. Shadow Heart, would you be so kind as to just walk here, walk here, so you can loot this, loot this, and then chug a fireball at this guy. Nice. Good job. He saves against the Mind Blast. Sure as hell You know what? I'm just simply gonna dash. What's hiding here? I'm just gonna loot this. So we need all the money we can get. Uh, I used all my movement. Okay, so that's the end of my turn. Uh, let's see. Dash. Yeah, most definitely. And run all the way up. I'm gonna just use. Hmm, am I gonna use this? To daze him? Yeah, just why not? Miss. Okay, okay, okay. Us. You are also gonna dash. 
you're gonna clear the distance as well. You're gonna grab that. And then you are also going to dash. Move up. Loot this. Thank you for the pearl. Thank you for the dagger. And just move up. That's it. Well, yes, I will do that. Sure. I'm gonna Best be know, on my way. Dash all the way over here. So I've used everything more or less, so I'm just gonna move up a little bit and then I'm gonna end my turn. Ignore the devil. We must take the transponder. Yeah. Start looting everything and then we just make a range attack. Not a one shot, but okay. I think us is just gonna attack. Yeah, well, this is not going so great. All right. You are going to shoot a fireball. Luckily through me, but still, it's fine. Is there something up here which I can loot? Let's have a quick look here no it's not Ooh. all right yeah and then he's gonna loot this and turn yeah that fight is not going so well okay holy rebuke so if someone attacks her she actually Time to press ahead. There we go. Why can't I reach this? I'm like standing neck. Well, fine. I didn't want them anyway. I did not do an attack of opportunity because that guy. Um, I had my. Like my sword in hand, I think. I do want them to ask for reactions, though. Uh, yeah. You can just keep on attacking. And keep on missing. Because why not? Alright. You know what? I'm just gonna inflict the wound shield. For 42 damage. That was a crit again then yes attack rolls critical 42 damage in one hit that's bullshit Got to move. Oh. love it love it okay i still have 12 turns now so you know what i'm not gonna i'm not gonna do it i'm just gonna accept the fact Oh, not just that. Light on my feet. Take that. Nothing more to grab here. Like this mind flayer is almost dead already. Uh let's see. Yeah, you just run up as well. I do want to talk to the transponder with my own character. Because I know you will get a cinematic. I'll just end this. Like he's missing everything. Let's see what this Let's does. Let's do this. The Helm's alien transponder. You made it in time. Bad boy. Bad boy.
ship doesn't look so good. Goblins. Filthy goblinses. Filthy hobbits, but stuff. Bonk. As you wake, the tadpole squirms in your skull. I'm gonna check myself for injuries. Other than the infection, you're more or less intact. A miracle, given everything you've been through. But it'll all be for nothing if you don't find help soon. The tadpole is a death sentence, and the clock is ticking. You need a cure. Well, I figured I would need a cure. So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I'm gonna stop the episode for now and just continue onward very shortly. Thank you so much for watching. If you watched this all the way to the end, well, then consider leaving a like and subscribe to my channel for more Baldur's Gate content. And we'll see each other in the next episode. Goodbye.